want to know what's wrong. Why are you carrying a long face? I'm carrying a long face because I don't like what you're wearing. So, of all the clothes in your wardrobe, this is what you chose to wear today. What is wrong with what I'm wearing? Everything's embarrassing. I don't know what you're talking about. There's nothing wrong with my outfit. I'm comfortable in it. Outfit? Did you just did you just call this thing an outfit? You call this t-shirt and wrapper outfit. Is there nothing else in your wardrobe that you could have worn? Please, please, Lloyd. I don't. I, I'm not in the mood for this. Okay. I have a lot of things troubling me. My looks. That's just the least of my worries. You have a lot of things troubling you. Doesn't mean you should wear our troubles as clothing. What's What's this now? Can I drive? Sure, bro. It's, it's not that bad. Well, Don't come. It's not bad, my G, man. If my daughter had to call me out respectively, though, you know, all about the way Cynthia, Cynthia dresses is crazy, man. Have you tried talking to her about it? Talk to her, man. I'm done talking to your sister. Every time I try to correct her, she'll cry, you know? And, um, look, I'm, I'm just done talking to her. She should just disrespect herself, not me. Have you tried talking to her, looking for another way to talk to her about your disapproval of her appearances these days? What haven't I done? Bought the latest clothes, the latest hair, makeup, took her to a salon so she can be at least inspired by other people's hair. But no. Cynthia will just pack everything that I buy and put in the wardrobe. I'm done. I didn't want to be talking about my family issues outside, so yo. Really? You don't want to talk about your family problem outside? So I'm now outside. Come on, man. <laughs> We've been best of friends since university days. So anything you tell me, it's safe. Yeah. Anyway, no problem, man. Oh, we'll, we'll wait about the club. Um, it's on. Um, gotta go now. Okay. Right, Just take it easy, bro. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hi. Sorry, um, excuse me. Sorry, I just I drove by and um, I saw you stranded. I saw you from afar. I uh, don't know if I can help you out. So wherever you're going. No, thank you. And I'm not stranded. I don't want anybody to delay me. No, no, I'm not going to delay you. I just want to help out. That's all. If you don't mind. Thank you. I don't need your help. Okay, I promise I'm not going to delay you. My name is Lloyd. What's your name? Bella. Bella. I will shake my hand, Bella. Okay. Um, can I drop you off? Honestly. No, thank you. Where are you going anyway? Um, you've been standing here trying to stop vehicles and stuff. Where are you off to? I'm a performer. I'm rushing for an audition. What kind of performer? I'm a dancer. Okay. Well, I mean, like I said, I just want to be helpful because you're going to be late for your audition, you know? Um, if you keep standing here, obviously there are no cars, no cabs, nothing. So let me just drop you off. Just tell me where you're going, I'll drop you. 
That's it. Okay? Just because you insist. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Check on board? Yes. Is your car open? Yeah, 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 sure. Sorry, I don't mean to, you know. Um, Let's pray before we eat. Thank you, Father, for this beautiful meal. Thank you for this gift. Thank you for providing for us. May you provide for our friends and family as well. In Jesus' name, in your name. Is everything okay? You are just playing with your food. Are you not hungry? Do I look okay? What's wrong? Something is seriously bothering me. Okay, what is it about? You can talk to me. Sorry, I can't tell you for now. Okay. I believe you know the perfect time to talk to your wife. So I'm not going to push this. Is everything okay between us? Seriously, do you, is, is, do you think everything is fine between us? Well, not exactly. We're not perfect, okay? Just like every other married couple, we have our own issues. But I'm sure it's not something we can't resolve. So whenever you're ready to talk to me in plain language, I'm willing to listen. You know you can always talk to me. Just eat, okay? I know what to do. It's more your sister. The issue is that our uh, thing is the issue is that she's she's got a problem, but she doesn't know it, and that thing is driving me crazy. So I don't know, man. I just want to talk to you about that. Or you think that she could be the problem, but you also don't think that you're part of the problem. What are you on about now, Nika? What do you mean I'm part of the problem? I don't know I'm part of the problem. It doesn't make sense now. My guy. I don't know my sister since my mama born her. And I can understand what she's going through because I'm a woman. Alright? But what I need you to do now be say, you need to position your woman. Position our speak English as you are. Use English to add. Not a pigeon English. Or not a language. Not a person at the same. You know that why they do things that you like. And she may be attractive to you again. So and you need to clear her. Now my sister, but you are my G. I can't tell you the truth. Yeah, no, but I've spoken to her before. I don't know. The thing is, you know, she's just she does, she's not saying anything. It's like it's like drinking bland tea till you don't get sugar. <laughs> Are you laughing now? <laughs> but what do they want to drink tea and sugar on the inside? <laughs> but my guy, seriously, now my sister, they worried. Mm. What can we really do right now? I don't know. 
But of course, I'm not going to divorce her. I'll just you let her. Down on her. Yeah, I'll just let her just sort herself out. I don't know. And the words. <laughs> You don't need to pursue cat on a cat to pursue you. And now, what you don't put on that your to I don't know. All right, let me street. Tell me, tell me, let me tell us. Can I trust you not to snitch on me to your sister? Now, which kind of English you just speak now? Okay, so my my you may have to this our friendship. Maybe that's now going to wife now. We do now today. You wish now you did ask me a question. We won't go back to school, Abby. All right now. Okay, I relax now. I need to take precautions now. But it's not like back in the day when we were in university. You were my wingman and you know we could do anything. But right now, things have changed. I'm married to your sister, so I'm your in law. So hey, calm down. Eh. Hey. Yes now. So all my commitment all these years for this relationship. Now now you know so things don't change. I will keep your secret, I don't want you again. I know you again, keep her. Okay, so I met somebody. <laughs> <laughs> My guy, I was tell me, I know her. Oh, I was a beer. And but see, I, I don't mean to be judgmental here, but you know that I'm a guy, so I need to. Anyway, her name is Bella. She's an actress and <coughs> dance instructor. But that's it. Nothing, nothing. Dance instructor. Yeah, nothing now. Eh? <laughs> yeah, 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 nothing. My guy. Mm, okay. Nothing serious, man. Mm -hmm. Nothing serious. Mm -hmm. Nothing serious. Thank you. And you? I wish I could say the same for myself. Why? Isn't that as bad? I don't see. They say the business of life is bad. Hmm. That's deep. You lost someone dear to you. What happened? Can we go somewhere for a drink out outside here? Don't worry about this. As friends, no strings attached. As friends. I don't drink. There are million non alcoholic drinks out there. Okay. <laughs> a million non alcoholic drinks to yeah. drink. Yeah. You have a way with words. <laughs> so, um, what do you have in mind? My office. There are a lot of drinks in the refrigerator, non alcoholic ones. I'm, I'm, you know. oh, you are so unbelievable. Of all places to hang out, you chose your office. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I, I think I like. Not not all men who ask a lady to hang out in their office at their first date. Unexpected. And if I tell you I like my guys different. Yeah, okay. I like my men different. I don't like regular guys. Okay. <laughs> okay, so um just one minute, let me just go. Okay, cool. Be right back. Yeah. Sorry, it took 
a little time. I have to shower. I love looking clean when I'm cooking. Wonderful. <laughs> Enjoy your meal. <laughs> Wonderful food. I like you. Mm. It doesn't take much to make you happy and satisfied. Yeah. You seem like a good guy. Good fellows, both of us. <laughs> Are you married? Yes. Oh, nice. Your wife is lucky. I guess. I'm sorry I asked. You don't look happy. No, I'm... I'm sorry, I'm fine. It's okay, I'm okay. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'll be right back. One minute. Okay. Excuse me. Yeah. You know what I find most fascinating about you? Mr. Lloyd? Uh -uh. Mr. Lloyd! <sighs> oh, I didn't collect his number. Uh -uh. What could I have said wrong? Okay. What happened? Is business bad? Yeah. Business of life is bad. God forbid. Business of our lives can never be bad in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, there are many things we ask God to forbid, but we're not doing, we're not doing anything to forbid them ourselves. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Why don't you go freshen up, go down, have dinner, and come back and I'll give you a good massage so you sleep well, okay? Nah, that's not what I want from you. What do you want from me? You want me to take a shower before having dinner, right? Well, let me ask you, have you had a shower yet? Oh, mm -hmm. not yet. I'll do that later. Okay. And you've... You're laying comfortably in bed. What's the time? 9 p.m. You've not had a shower. Come on. I just wanted to rest a little, that's why I just slept off. Okay, why are you taking everything so serious? It's not that deep. Uh. I need to eat.
Bimi. Bimi, is this where you want to sleep? What is it now? What do you want? You should have told me you were not hungry. I would have removed the food and put it in the fridge. Is that what you know how to do? What? Make food and talk. Is that what you know how to do? Let me sleep, please. I'm tired. Just don't stop it. It's obvious you're in a bad mood. If I won't disturb you, okay? Good night. Just sleep. I'm sure you'll be in a better mood tomorrow morning. What did I do to you? Why did you leave my house like that? Why are you running away from me? I'm not running away from you. I'm running away from myself. Listen, I, I'm, I'm married. And I'm, I think I'm falling in love with you. What? Love? We are just friends. No, we're not just friends, Bella. I'm vulnerable. I'm so vulnerable right now that any woman who wants me will get me. My wife is not, my wife is not the same. She's changed and the thing is, I don't even know what's going on. I, I don't know what the problem is, so I can't even fix it. She's not telling me anything. <sighs> is she treating you bad? She's not treating me bad, she's treating herself bad. 80% of the time, she looks horrible. I think I'm falling out of love with her. Can't you get her an expert? That's what I'm trying to tell you. She shot me out. I can't do any. I don't even know anything. But why would she want to lose you? Why would any woman in her right senses want to lose you? Can I talk to her? Make her my friend or something? Why are you smiling? Because you're making me fall in love with you over and over again. You're selfless. You're, you're not a schemer. <laughs> Never trust a woman. What if I have my eyes on you? No, you don't. <laughs> yes, I don't, at least for now. But can I be a friend and talk to her? No. Why not? Or does she have any other friends she can talk to? Because I want you for myself. I... Now I have to run away from you. <laughs> See you.
Mm, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Drunk, Lloyd. I am. That's because uh, I have something in my mind that I've wanted to tell you for three months. What, <laughs> what is that? Uh, yeah. It is. Uh, I, I don't like you. Somebody. I don't like you. I don't like you. I've fallen out of love with you. I don't, I don't, I don't like you. That's the truth. You know, I don't like you, Cynthia, and I want a divorce. I want a divorce. I want, I want a divorce, Cynthia. That's, that's what I want from you, so that's it. That's not you talking. Whatever, I want a divorce. <sighs> I want a divorce. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, I want to take the breakfast to my husband in the bedroom. Really? I'm oh. serving breakfast myself. Continue like this, and your marriage will never end. Really? Yes. You see, wives of these days, what do they know? Feed a man and pet him. You have him feeding from your fingers. Yeah, but these days wives, hmm, they know nothing about taking care of their husbands. Almost as if their mothers are not preparing them for it. And what the result? Too many divorce cases. And the devil is happy. That's what he always looks out for. God will bless your marriage. Amen. No matter what you're going through today, you're a good woman. A housewife material. Any day, any time. <laughs> God will bless this union. Amen. Okay? Amen. Just. Huh? <laughs> Thank you. Let me just take this. I'll come back with the eggs. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, man. so nice to me. You want me to change my mind? To you, Jamahid, about what? Um, first of all, my name is Lloyd. Stop calling me baby. Lloyd? Yes. 
Okay, so what exactly am I changing your mind for? Exactly what I told you yesterday when I came back. Okay. Remind me because you came in drunk, so I assume you didn't know exactly what you were saying. They say that uh, when a man is drunk, he has the courage to say what he wouldn't say when he was sober. So, you understand, right? I'm listening. I said I want a divorce. A divorce? Yes. You want a divorce? Mm -hmm. I, I mean, Are you insane? Are you crazy? I said exactly what I want. React! I was waiting for that. React! You know what? I'm not going to do this. I will not give you the reaction you want. I will shout. I will yell. I will do that. Mm. You hear me? It doesn't matter if you shout, you scream, you yell. I don't care. I want a divorce and I don't have a reason. I just... I, I've fallen out of love with you. And that's what it is. You don't have a reason? Yeah. What is the meaning of this? Why are you so heartless? I mean, I'm, I'm trying to do something nice for you. I, I've, been, I've been so good to you and you want to divorce me. Yes. You have a reason. No, don't do that. You, that. No, you, you know exactly what is wrong. Since you want to stop, you want to scream, right? I'm just telling you that I have no reasons. You want to cast that me? You want me? What reason? You don't even sound don't right. Don't do that. Don't do that to me. You always do it. You know exactly what you're doing wrong, and you're making me look like that. Sorry. I'm not doing wrong. I'm not telling you anything. No, don't do that. I want to know what I do. You are driving me crazy. That's no, what I mean. Yes, I, I intend to drive you crazy. Don't do that. I'm not doing that. What was the problem? I'm not getting out of here. I don't touch you. Sorry. Don't touch me. No. 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 No, 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 don't touch me. No, 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 don't leave me alone. Don't, don't do it. What's wrong with you? Wait. No, don't tell me to wait. Please. No, 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 don't say that to me. Why are you talking to me? Don't touch me. You look, you look very haggard. I'm sorry. You're like a beggar. Don't just leave me alone. Stress me out. Don't stress me. Don't, don't, don't stop me. Please. Don't, don't do that. Stop. No, 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 please, please.
didn't say anything until we got inside. <laughs> what was that today? Were you trying to seduce me? Maybe I was. Wow, I thought as much. Did you find it inappropriate? No. On the contrary, I liked it very much. <laughs> you do? Yeah. <laughs> Did you notice I wasn't dancing before you came in? Mm. So your dance was for me, right? Yes, of course. See, I wasn't going to dance today. I just went in to make a little practice with my guitarist. But when you came in, I saw you. I knew you weren't happy. Mm. So let's just say that dance was my little way off making you feel good and putting a smile on your cute little face. I love you. Oh, I love you too. Bella, I told her. I told her last night she said nothing. This morning she threw the worst tantrum ever. I had to run out of the house. Poor darling. Me or her? <laughs> yeah, baby. I don't know. Why can't she be like you? Why can't she adorn herself like you? Why can't she just be sexy, attractive? So because she's given birth to a child, then she becomes an old woman? Just make me understand, because it doesn't make sense. Save the salmon, baby. Tell me, are you hungry? Do you want something to eat? Yeah. What, rice? Yeah, rice. Okay, in a minute, let me go get your food. I'm coming. <laughs> My dear, what's the problem? Can you gather no rush off like that? What happens? He wants a divorce. He wants a divorce for no reason at all. Nobody wants a divorce for no reason. Aside yelling. That he doesn't love me anymore. It's all that he said. He didn't give me any reason. <laughs> Why can't he be patient until I'm done dealing with my crisis? <laughs> Why? Did you ask him? No. And quite frankly, I don't want to bother. I don't want to know. <laughs> that is why you're wrong. <laughs> You have to force him to talk. You have to speak to him. Ask him nicely. My husband, why do you want a divorce? I'm not shouting. I'm not fighting. I'm only begging you to tell me why you want a divorce. If not for any other thing, for my own heart to find peace, to be able to guide me for my own future, you have to ask him. I've heard you, Mama Christine. Thank you so much. Indeed, the advice of an elderly woman comes in handy. I'm sure this is what my mother would have told me if she was still alive. My dear, the God that made you to employ me knew what he was doing. I will not allow you to lose your marriage. God Almighty knew that a day like this will come. So he sent me beforehand to guide you, protect you. Don't fear anything. Fear only God. Only God. How do I do this? How do I look the father of my only child in the eye and ask him why he wants to divorce me? For no reason. How? I think you should also trust him and tell him what is wrong with you. Tell him what is eating you up. No. 
I don't want to tell him. He doesn't seem to know what I'm going through. It's going to steal his happiness and I, I don't want that. Please, let me bear the burden alone. And get divorced for it? Well, that's a sacrifice I have to make for him to be happy then. No problem. So be it. Yeah, hello. Lloyd, are you not coming home? Elizabeth is asking questions. Can you hear me? I can hear you. When are you coming home? I want to sleep outside tonight. Because you're being violent and unreasonable. I don't want to fight. Can you stop? What am I supposed to tell her? Mm -hmm. I should tell her that he traveled. You know she won't believe me because you always tell her before you travel. You know she's back from school. She's on holiday and she doesn't see you. She'll be worried. Please come home. What do you want from me? You know what? Take it. Take everything. Take the house. Take everything. Just give me a divorce. Please. I don't want anything from you. Really? Yes. Except, except for one thing. Except what? I... I get a small list of the things that I want. It's by the bedside drawer. Just come home, read it, and then give me everything on that list. And I promise you, you can go from there. You can give me the divorce papers, and I'm not going to make any trouble out of it. But please, you need to come home. I beg you. I need to go, Bella. I can't keep running. I need to face this thing square. I didn't ask you not to go, darling. This is all you want. Yes. You don't want a house, properties, assets, stuff like that. I don't want any of that. I can rent myself a small apartment. You want us to sleep in the same bedroom every night for one month. I almost talk for 30 minutes before bed and you want me to carry you out to the front door every morning before I go to work. Yes. Same way you carried me 11 years ago through this door. On our wedding night, I want you to carry me out of this room and drop me in front of the door before you go to work every day for a month. And after all that? After all that, you can you get your divorce and we we'll both go our separate ways. No hard feelings. Are you nuts? Are you nuts? What? I thought you said no quarrels, no fights. Why are you using abusive words on me? I need to know because what are you hoping to achieve with all of this? It doesn't make sense. Well, a lot doesn't make sense to me either. My husband of 11 years suddenly wants a divorce from me and won't tell me the reason why. You don't want to tell me what I did wrong. I also stated there that I would talk for 30 minutes every night before going to bed. Mm -hmm. Maybe then you'll find a way to tell me what I did wrong. Mm -hmm. Um. I need to go take a shower. I've been in this close for a while. <clears throat> mm. Okay, I want to welcome everyone once more for today's session. And today we are going to be handling identification 
and handling of root cause of problems in marriage as it concerns women. What are the root causes of problems in marriage? Number one is communication. How do you communicate to your husband? Are you the type that when one little thing happens, you will be like, I don't want to talk again. He doesn't understand me. Because even when I do, he doesn't understand what I say. He doesn't even take me serious. So it's better I keep quiet. Even when I bring my own idea, he doesn't buy it. So it's better I keep quiet. Communication is not just when you speak. There are other things like, um, your body language, how do you behave when your husband is talking to you? Are you the type that presses your phone? Or you chew it gum, you watch TVs, you put loud music, you cross your legs when your husband is talking? So the question for me now is, is non-communication the solution to communication problems we have in marriage? The answer is no. Number two root causes of problem in marriage is lies. So, we are all guilty of this, both men and women. So how do you lie? Are you the one that will be somewhere gisting with your friend and your husband will call you, be like... I remember sometimes growing up, I had this friend that uh, she's always lying to her husband. And one day we were somewhere gisting, I don't know what we were doing, and the husband, not knowing that the husband was right in front of us, and the husband called and said, where are you? And she said, ah, that she, she's just sleeping in, on her bed this month. She just brought the children back from school. She's sleeping, she's having her seat, and lo and behold, the man said, look left. I ran for my dear life. So I don't want to be seen around there again. So, I know that everybody is guilty of lies. Because if you want to talk about men's own, it's a whole lot of it. But how do you handle lies? Why can't you just say the truth, where you are, what you are doing by time, so that you help this thing called marriage? Number three is money. Number four, infidelity. Number five, power tussle. I'm listening, so, but we are still going to take them one after the other. How do you spend your husband's money? Are you the one that you are careless about spending your husband's money, even when you don't make money? As women, we are supposed to help our husbands and make money, manage their money, not to waste their money. Infidelity. How do you love your husband? Do you still sleep around while, while you, are, you are still married? Do you still lead men in? Some women will tell you that I don't sleep with him, but you lead them on. You take their calls, you hide in some kind of places, and you tell them the things they want to hear. That is cheating. Because anything you are doing, anything at all you are doing, that when you see the next person coming, you are no longer comfortable with that thing. To me, it's cheating. You won't allow your husband to check your phone because there is a hidden agenda there. You might not be sleeping with the person, but cheating is cheating, and it starts with communicating with the next man. Power also. Our men now think that because some of us make money now, we start to nag. Everywhere. We start to rub shoulders with them. That's the way you should talk to your husband and that's the way you should talk to your children. Because if you start to talk to your husband the way you talk to your children, the flavor is gone. Besides, this is Africa. That's the way we see marriage here. So we should still continue to be Africans. And the next one is appearance. At this point, I want to close this book because I want to address this one very well. How do you look before your husband today? Your husband saw a beautiful young woman that cleans herself up, that does the things she likes, the things that attracted him to you. 
to you. And after having one child or two, you think you have gotten a man. You just left yourself. You do all manner of things that you didn't do before. You allow the love to die. Because that young girl, that sweet girl, that succulent body, that glowing skin that he saw before coming to you was not there anymore. You start to dress shabbily. You don't care about your appearance again. You don't make your hair. You don't care about your looks. You think that it's just about giving him food and giving him children. It is way beyond that. Because before the food, before the home, before the children was you. And there was something that attracted him to you, which was you, the way you look. So as women, we will continue to look good for our husbands. Buy your perfume, clean up your armpit, shave it, put your roll on, smell well around him. Don't kill that vibe, don't kill that flavor. To see me privately. Yes, ma'am. But before then, I hope you enjoyed this section. Yes, we did, didn't we? We did. <laughs> okay, so does it mean you are going to book for subsequent ones? More so? Definitely, ma. Your lecture was illuminating and helpful. So we definitely will come back for another session. I'm sure you will. I learned a lot. Same here. <laughs> I'm glad you did. So what we do here is that we break down marital challenges and problems. We bring it down and we start to teach our clients one after the other. Because I can tell you this for free, believe it or not, there are so many bashed marriage. Problems in marriage are too much. But with our interventions, we've been able to see up to 75% of our registered clients. The remaining 25 are just the ones that come for one off. And before you know it, they return when things are already late. So I'm happy you will go for more sessions. Because even being a woman in this society now is even enough tax not to talk of being a mother. <laughs> so there is need that we encourage ourselves. Because there's actually a lot to learn. Thank you so much, ma. Everybody has got one thing to learn. The old, the young. You know, you impart a lot of teaching and knowledge. And it really helps. We have really learned, and um, I know it's not easy, but God will help us. Amen. You're welcome any day, okay? So, <coughs> we'll have to take your. My secretary will take your details on your way out. Thank you very much. See you soon. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Your phone, madam. Did you eventually talk one on one with Dr. Linda? I tell her what. The whole world does not need to know what I'm going through. I don't want gossip. Besides, I'm not the only woman going through or facing challenges in her marriage. For now, I don't want to share that part of me with anybody. But special counseling can help. Yes, that's why I already said we are going to return for more sessions. Maybe I'll learn it in or two during the her classes. These are general sessions. Not tell her to your specific problem. If she's aware of your marital problem, she can give you specific solutions to handle it. Let's just go. 
He didn't eat his breakfast. He has stopped eating my food. Why is this happening to me? Madam Cynthia, do you pray at all? I don't mean small, small prayers. I mean prayers with fire that moves God to act. I. I pray as much as I can, yes. You must make war on your knees. That's what we mothers do. That's what we teach our children. So that they pass it on to their own children too. We know we be warrior women who want to find purpose for our families and husband. Your husband, he needs help. And only you can help him. How? Prayer, my dear. Prayer is the key. But what is my offense? I have been a good wife to my husband. I've never cheated on him. I've never looked at another man. I love him so much. I prepare his meals myself. Do you know this? Have I ever allowed you to cook for my husband? No. I cook his meals myself, fresh. I gave him a beautiful daughter. I love him to death. Anything he says, I do. I'm a good wife, a good mother to my child. I open up to him. I don't keep any secrets. I don't, I don't even go out. I don't do anything. He told me to quit my job and I did. I don't work because I want to be a stay-at-home wife and mother. Sometimes I feel very stupid for not actually making anything out of my life. I'm a graduate, for crying out loud. A trained accountant. What more can I do? What more? Is that enough? Is it not enough? <laughs> Stop lying. I know you're seeing someone. When your husband doesn't eat your food, he eats someone else's food. When your husband doesn't talk to you, he's definitely talking to someone. So I know you're seeing someone. So who is the woman I'm losing you to? I'm not seeing anybody. So why don't you eat your breakfast? I was not hungry. Oh. If you say so. Hmm. Tala Perry movie. I love Tala Perry. Let's watch the movie together. No, I'm, I'm busy. We, we should bond. No, 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 I'm, I'm busy. But I'm you are watching it. I don't have, I'm busy. You can't be doing that in my office. I'm busy. But you are watching it. I Your laptop wasn't open. I wasn't when I watching came. it. I wasn't watching it.
Lord, I pray today for my family, especially for my daughter Elizabeth. I pray that you continue to guide her, keep her safe, and she grow up to be respectful, obedient to her parents, her classmates, her teachers, and may she become a great person in this community, in this society. May she be the reason people will look at her and know that God exists. I also pray for my family, especially my husband, Mr. Lloyd Robert, Father Lord, King of Glory. I pray that you be with him always. He's going out and he's coming in. He's sleeping hours and his willfulness. God continue to take place in his life at all times. I pray against any distraction. God take control. Anything that will bring shame to this family, Jehovah take control. Any evil that are working against our home, God may they all scatter as they are gathered. May they all scatter. As they are working against the sweetness of our home, Jehovah will put them one by one. Father Lord, may the business of my husband continue to flourish. May he stand strong among men. May he be May he be envied among men. May he be blessed among men. Lord Jesus Christ, whatever the distraction in speed from a man or a woman, I pray against them today as they have gathered, as they want to steal the joy and the love and the peace that we have once shared in this family. Father Lord, you said that the prayer of a sinner is an abomination. Wait, 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 Listen, you, this thing is, is giving me a headache. I'm trying to sleep. If I go and sleep in a hotel, man, you say that I, 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 I didn't sleep in the room and I didn't carry you downstairs as we planned. But look at what it, look at what you're doing. And look at what you're wearing. You look like a sack. Is this what I'm going to be seeing every night? What is this? Oh, Jesus! Fight him back to Fight him back to Fight him back to The enemy is at war! The enemy is at war! They are fighting! They are calling us! They are fighting! They are looking at us! They are laughing! They want to break this union! They want to break this loving home! This loving home! The peace that we have shared! Lord Jesus! I stand before you! And I say, take control of my husband! I don't know where this instruction is coming from, but I say, free! You don't like my nighty. <laughs> is this what you're calling a nighty? This thing? This thing that looks like a coat? Is this, is this what you're calling a nighty? Is that why you have to distract me? I was praying and you just started talking. You said we should talk for 30 minutes before bedtime. I gave you that. Is that not enough? But I was talking and you were not even responding. Mm -mm. You're not talking, you're asking a question. There's a difference. That was not a conversation. What did I do wrong? That's not a conversation. That's a question. And if by now you don't know what you did wrong as a wife, then you're not only ignorant, then you're a little stupid as well. What? Yeah. Why are you insulting me? Look at the way you're insulting someone that was just praying for you, calling me stupid and ignorant. Don't you have the fear of God in you? Do you think God is happy with you? Let me ask you that question. So it's a question. Do you think God is happy with you? What did I do wrong? Did you catch me with another man? Cynthia, you're not trendy. You don't dress well. You don't look good. You don't make up. You don't have wigs. You don't... Look, I open your wardrobe. I see old women's clothes. What? I'm tired. And then you keep asking me what you did wrong. The list is endless. Let me give you an example. You just cook in the kitchen beans for and, and then you come up all sweaty and you expect me to hug you how i was cooking for you i was cooking for you despite my pain what pain what pain you it, this is the new you and frankly speaking i don't like it you've changed and i don't like this new you why the truth is i don't have any feelings for you anymore 
because I, I don't dress like you want me to because I don't dress worldly I, I, I don't wear skimpy things I don't expose myself that's why you don't have feelings for me anymore because I choose to be decent most men will be happy to have a decent woman like me but not you that's not true you're talking nonsense men love good things before and after marriage but look at you you expect me to deal with this anyway i don't have time for this i'm going to bed thank you for waking me up you can have your prayer here and while you're at it you pray for god to change your wardrobe i mean for your next husband that's I'm just saying because i'm done with this rubbish <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So I'll be back into the house now. I need to go to work. Uh -oh. I'm gonna put you down. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> Have a great day at work. Thank you. My princess. Bye daddy. <laughs> Bye. 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 Let's go see if we should breakfast, okay? The person where your niece sent come. What's up? Wow. <sighs> she told me that you are very good in this job. Hmm? That you are very, very good. And I work with that. Okay. Please, I don't want to hear any excuses. This mission is very dear to me. Please. Male. Male. My tete. Did you hear? No shaking. I got you. Yeah? Okay. See the now. Okay. I've waiting to hear from you. No shaking. Go do now. Okay. All right. Thank you. Hello? Now, uh, residential house. Now, they just enter, so. No, is that his office? No, no, residential. Okay, just wait there and find out why he's there or who you want to see, okay? No fear, no fear. I need to wake up, I will let you know. 
Yes. All right, thank you very much. What is wrong? We found the other woman. What other woman? The woman that your husband is seeing. What? I sent somebody after him this morning. And we found. You're spying on my husband? Yes. On whose orders? Answer me. No one. Did I send you? No. So why are you spying on my husband? I'm just trying to help. <laughs> oh, okay, so who, who is this other woman? Her name is Bella. Bella? Yeah. Um, artist, dancer. In fact, uh, master of all trade. Jack of all trade. Oh my God. He lives at number 3, Tega Street. I have her address. You know what? You're fired. Pack your things and leave this house. I was on the track. You heard me. You're fired. You no longer walk here. Pack your things and leave. My reward for trying to help. 
Okay, just leave that place and go home. I said, go home. No need again. Okay. Sorry about that. It's fine. So, she just sacked you, just like that. Hmm. There's a polinda for bothering about her. I did nothing wrong. Maybe she didn't like the fact that you sent someone to trade her husband without her consent. I was only trying to protect her. I wanted to show her that I can protect her even without her knowledge. But you know that lady is like my own daughter. I understand. I understand. I'm thinking, is there a way I can talk to her before the next session? Yes, we both registered the same day. So we have her contact as well. Oh. But the only problem will be your reason for singling her out. You oh, don't bother about that one. I will know what to say. Okay. I know what to tell her. Okay, doctor. Yeah. Please. Maybe she will open up to you so that you can still save her marriage. Please. I'll try my best. Thank you. Thank you, too. Come in. What's your name? Uh, good afternoon, ma. Um, Dr. Bassi called. Did you tell her anything? Yes, I did, ma. So you reported me? No, no. I didn't report to you. I only pleaded with her. Since you asked me to stop work, and I still want to work for you, ma. Honestly, what you did was wrong. You are out of line. I'm sorry. Does the whole world know that my husband is cheating on me? Where then is my dignity and pride as a wife and a woman? You found out something as such and you didn't come to me first. You went to a stranger. Had my husband trailed. If anyone should follow my husband, it should be me. Not someone who has probably never been married before and doesn't know anything about marriage and, and the challenges that comes with it. I'm highly disappointed in your aunt and I find that quite disrespectful. I'm sorry, ma'am. But if you still want to confirm what I told you, Right now, they are at Gaga Garden, eating and drinking. You can go there if no, you want. No, no. I don't want to see. Okay. <laughs> Woo! I haven't seen you laugh in a long time. You know, if you laugh more often, this house uh, will be better if you did, because the gloom in you has almost turned this house into a graveyard, you know? Oh, really? <laughs> Baby, go for it. <laughs> yeah. Hmm? Is it going to change the fact that you're seeing another woman? Hmm? You have good taste, by the way. My husband has great taste.
How do you know about Bella? Did you have me followed? What's the point? My point is that I will not be followed. I've said it before. I want a divorce. No, you divorce him. You know what? I'll be in the guest room. We've played this game for too long. You know? What? What about Elizabeth? She'll ask questions. Yeah. She'll stop asking questions if we stop answering them. Lloyd. What? Never mind. Don't call me if you have nothing to say. Don't, don't say Lloyd. Yes, baby. I'm not your baby. I'm not... Doctor, I finally confronted my husband. He's now aware that I know what he's doing and who he's doing it with. So, what was his reaction? <laughs> he was shocked at first. And then he tried to deny it. Well, how long story short, it resulted to him moving to the guest room. He said that's how things will be from now on. Since I don't want to give him a divorce or ask for anything for settlement. Cynthia, look at you. I want you to look inward and ask yourself, when exactly did I become this way? Because from what I heard, your husband has been able to put up with your sadness and unwillingness to take care of yourself for the past five years. I am not saying that what your husband did was right by walking out of the marriage. All I am saying is that you must have pushed him. And even a good man can fail when you push him hard. Love is like a fire. It needs an ignition to light it. And then you add fuel for it to stay burning. So if you light it often with fuel, if you add your fuel, it keeps burning. But the moment the fuel goes down, the light will dim and the love will die. It does not mean that the love was not there from the start. What it means is that one of you have ne either neglected that duty of adding fuel so that it will keep on. Our body is fuel. Our achievements fuel. Our purpose of life needs fuel. Our hope in our relationship needs fuel for it to keep on. What does not need fuel is when a man thinks he's married. Now I have gotten a wife. I, I, I don't need anything again. He will open his stomach and start eating and eating and grow so fat, drinking beer and issue and all manner of things. That is not fuel. Or when a woman neglects herself because, oh, I am married now. I don't need anything. You, take, you don't take care of yourself again anymore. That is not for it. just like what you did. And that is why your husband has decided to go to a woman that is taking care of herself. Not only that, willing to leave you. I am not talking vanity. But if you think that what I'm saying is not in the Bible, then you go and read Songs of Solomon. Am I making sense? Did you love your husband? Yes, Doctor. So why do you make it difficult for him to continue to love you? <laughs> because I am dying. What? Because I have cancer. I've cancer. That's why. That's why I've been on birth control pills, because I don't want to bring a child to this world 
who will not experience what it's like to have a mother. I don't want to do that to that poor child. But that is not enough reason for you to suffer yourself all these years. It's a time for you to create memories. A time for you to be with your husband on your side and create everlasting memories. You don't understand, Doctor. Five years ago, I lost my beloved mother. <laughs> I think that wasn't enough. That's in the year. That's in the year I found that I had cancer. Something in me died that day. My happiness died with my mother. <laughs> so I decided to carry this burden alone. I didn't want to inflict pain on my family, so I hid it from my husband and he just me to me up. That is why you need to create memories, sweet memories, Cynthia. Create them, go out, cook for them, do things that you were not doing. Create sweet memories that they will live with even if you have to go. Okay? It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. It's okay. It's fine. Oh my God. It's fine, okay? <laughs> your question where are you coming from? all morning huh all morning where have you been you know i've been suspecting you yeah i've been suspecting you started following men you started running wild right what are you talking about is it late is it still afternoon what do you know when i got back home it's still afternoon do you know when i got back home 12 noon look at your time what's the time 4 p.m. Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? What is it? Please, can you stop? I'm, I'm so tired. I, I'm not in any mood for this. Just look for any reason to yell. Why are you yelling? Let me tell you, you're not going to run wild as long as you're under my roof. Are you, are you, can you listen to what I'm saying? You are not going to run wild as long as you're under my roof. If you want to do that, you get out! Take these rags that you wear, you get out and do your thing. Take the rags that you're, that, 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 that you're always wearing. Go out and do your thing. This is not an old people's home. Oh my God. Oh my God. What is wrong with you, sir? Haven't you done enough? Do you want to kill her before her time? This woman is dying. She has cancer. She has been suffering a long not to cut short your own happiness. And yet, you keep poking and poking and adding to her suffering. Are you a monstrous? Why did you tell him? Why did you tell him? What? Cynthia. 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 Cynthia! Cynthia! Why didn't you tell me about this? Sir, I only got to know about it today. She has been suffering in silence. That's why she'll take care of herself or... It's not important to her. She wants to be that... 
making up and adoring herself. It's like dressing a corpse with li no life he needs. So please, fine. Uh, I'm going to look for her. Tell Elizabeth nothing I when she wakes up. Okay, I won't. <laughs> Yeah. Did you see her? Oh, I didn't see her. Help. I called her phone. She rang several times. She didn't pick up. So, she didn't go out with her phone. When you called, the phone rang here. Here's the phone. Okay. I'm going to go up to my room and uh, just want to clear my head for a little bit. But, she'll come back, right? I mean, you think she'll come back? When she comes back, let's give her the dollar, the pr princess treatment. We need to show her as much love as we can. Yes. I'm coming. Who's not back yet? No, she's not. But where did she go to? To see some friends, I think. My mommy does not have friends, so I wonder where she went to. I called mommy's phone and told mommy Christy that picked it up and told me that mommy left her phone at home. Yeah, she's right. We, uh, we just had a little quarrel, misunderstanding. So maybe she's gone somewhere to clear her head. Tomorrow she'll be back. Okay? My wife has cancer and I can't leave her. I'm calling off to divorce. I can't leave my wife, I'm sorry. It's fine. Your wife has cancer, I'm sorry about that. So, are you going to leave me because of that? Am I the cause of the cancer? Bella. Bella, I have a heart. Please. Baby, I do have a heart. I have a sensitive one at that. And that's why what you see is going to break it. Please, don't leave me. Don't even think about it. Bella, just wait. I can't be with you like that. Please wait. Just li listen to me. All right? And my wife is, she, she has cancer. I need to give her every attention that I can. I can't divide the attention. I can't do that. Baby, is this love or pity? I love my wife. I never stopped. I thought I thought I did, but I I didn't stop loving her. But what about me? What about me? Bella, you're young. You will find somebody else to love you. 
That person can't be me, please. I'm sorry. Maybe this thing I see is breaking my heart. Why, why do you want to do this to me? You can just jump into my life, make me fall in love with you, and you want to jump out. Why? You know what? Bella, Bella, wait. Bella, just don't take it like that. Bella! So any man or any woman that has failed to raise up his or her child well has failed God. The person is not just irresponsible, but he or she has created problems that will live even after he or she is gone. So we need to train our children well. At least give them the foundation that they need. If you don't train your children well, how do you expect them to go out there and succeed? So what am I saying? That anybody that wants to bring a child forth should plan, even before conception, to give at least basic education. Okay, let's say for example now, your mother and your child is in university. You don't pay her school fees, you don't take care of her, you don't give her the necessary things. And you want to pretend that you don't know that she's selling off her body to pay her school fees and take care of herself. You should stop living in denial. Please, I need to see someone else and come. One second. I've been worried. I've been, I've been staying at the hotel. I've run out of cash. I can't stay there anymore. At the same time, I don't want to go home. But you need to go home. No. I want to give Lloyd the space that he wants. For how long, Cynthia? As long as he wants it. I want to like kill myself. No, please. Don't say that again. You will do no such thing. Have you contacted Madame Chrissy? She's been so worried. That's why I'm here. Now, please, I need a favor from you. Okay, go ahead. I need you to help me tell Mama Christie that, that I'm fine. Okay. Also, tell my husband that I forgive him. You tell my daughter that I love her. Please promise me. Okay, I mean, you have to follow me home and you will stay in my guest room. I just want to finish up with this session so we can go immediately. Okay? Thank you. Just one second, let me 
finish up. Good morning, man. Good morning. Good morning. Is Madam around? Yes, yeah, she did. She did. No okay. come. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Madam. Well, don't worry. Everything will be fine. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you know it. Hey. Madam, Jesus, oh my God, thank God that you are okay. Ah, good afternoon. Good afternoon, welcome. Hey, where have you been? Um, um, she's fine. But her husband must not know that she's here, at least for now. Okay, I'll make sure of that. Are you okay? Um, I'm fine, I'm just saying um, a little bit weak, that's all. Your husband has been so worried about you. He's going everywhere, searching everywhere, begging everybody. <laughs> I told you that God was going to do it. Really? Yes. The only thing in his mind now is how to find you. Not in, he doesn't even talk anything about divorce again. He's how to find you. How he can see you again. He doesn't even mind going to consult any other corner just to see you. I'm telling you. Um, she will go home, but before she goes home, I would want her to visit my hospital. They are very good. Okay. I want to run a comprehensive test on her. Total checkup. Okay. We need to know everything about her health and the stage of the alignment so that we'll know the next thing to do. How about that? God bless you. Thank you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Yeah. Anything. Just relax. Things will get better. Thank you. Stop, stop. No, 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 no. Please, please, please. Please, 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 please. Okay, please. Okay, okay. Don't, don't, don't jump. Don't, please, please, I love don't you. Don't come to me, I'll jump. No, 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 please, Sinti, I'm on my knees. Sinti, please, please, I'm begging you. I still love you, please. No, you don't. I do, I love you, Sinti, please. No, you don't die so that you can go ahead. No, 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 Sinti, no, no. Sinti, I don't jump. Sinti. No. No, Sinti. No, no. Sinti, I don't jump. Oh, this dream. Oh, Cynthia. Cynthia, please come back. If there's any, at least so I can make you right, please. It's all a dream. Open this door! Who's that? I don't know. Okay. <sighs> what do you want? What do you want, Bella? I'm pregnant. Why are you doing this? I don't understand. Which one is why are you doing this? Are you asking me why you got me pregnant or why I'm pregnant? What is Bella? Why are you doing this? We'll have to go to the hospital and run some tests. Hey, hey! Let's say it is not a joke with you. Go to which hospital? Listen, we are not going to any nonsense hospital with you to run any nonsense tests. What do you want? No, you're talking, darling. Say to me. Ten million naira. You know what? Sign a check of ten million naira, and I will leave you with your sorry life. 
I'm not sorry, darling. I'll send it to you. Good boy. You can't even ask me to sit. There you go. Ten million naira. Sir, sir, why are you giving her this money? Just stop, stop, please stop. Please. Crazy woman. Sir, why are you giving her so much money? Why? I want to concentrate her mom, my wife. I had a dream that she committed suicide. It was a very vivid and clear dream. So. Please. Have you heard anything from her? Not yet, sir. I made a report at the police station, they declared her missing. So you see, to a man on the brink of losing his wife to life's issues, 10 million now is nothing. Please, you don't go. I don't trust you. Just check my balance. I'll send you my account details. That's your check. Send the money in my account. Don't forget, 10 million naira. My eyes are on you. Crazy woman. Crazy man. Who said you have an answer? Please, when did you carry out these tests? Um, do we really care hospital, sir? Serious? This is a clear case of uh, misdiagnosis. Yeah. What we have is upper respiratory tract infection. It's very similar with leukemia. And sometimes, due to medical laziness and improper tests, it can be diagnosed as leukemia, which is cancer of the white blood cells. Please, uh, doctor, please, I'm sorry to cut you short. Um, I'm confused. Are, are you are you saying that I don't have cancer? No, you don't. Jesus. You don't. From the test before me here, which is properly detailed, you don't have cancer. You don't. You don't. Oh my God. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Lord, thank you, Lord, for everything you have done in my life. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. Thank you, Jesus, for sexing me free. Thank you, Jesus.
Jesus for giving me life. Thank you, Jesus, for mercy. Thank you, Lord, for giving me a life to see this day. I have nothing to give you but praise and worship, Lord Jesus. Praise your holy name, Jesus. Thank you. Mm. 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 Wow. <laughs> I will watch it right now. They should be there so much more now. I'm going to watch it now. Ah, my girl, sir. You go see me, sir. I am my G. Go. Yeah. We look at that how we're about yet. No, no. I think I don't know. I I think she may have committed suicide. What? But the police found her body? No, it was a dream. You know, but I don't know. Listen, if that woman has committed suicide, I'm gonna follow her. But my only problem is I don't know what's gonna happen to, to Elizabeth. I, I, already she's feeling her absence. My guy, relax. It's just a dream. I know you're missing her and you want her back. So some dreams are expected, sure? No, no, relax I, now. I really dream. And what I do, I, I don't remember. This one was very clear. I could like literally remember every detail of it because what's the revelation of that dream? But this are not the big bucket. You understand? So just relax. Apart from that, apart from that, Bella Bella's on my case, man. She's she's blackmailing me, asking me to give her ten million now, or she'll have the baby. She's pregnant. <laughs> you know? Ten million. I'm telling you, man. Is she serious? She's not serious. Uba. Ubi a father. Ten million. Okay. For you. I, I don't mind. Don't say you're too soft. I don't mind. Now because you're too mind. soft, now why is she okay? Play? No, I go, I go and do I should cre Oh, eh? Who should be? Relax, my guy, I go take care of that one. She maybe she swallow. My guy, if I call, I'm gonna consider this game. Bella, what do you want? You, because of the ten million now, you won't let me rest? Uh, fine, give me a crown details. I'll transfer the money so that I can rest. Lloyd, that's not it. You know, in my business, I meet lots of men. The rich and mighty. I was never even ready for them. Love has never been something that was real to me until I met you. When I met you, it was different. Yeah, was a man who loved his family so much. Yeah, was a man driven to the brinks by the change of his wife's attitude for the worse. Yeah, was a man, a responsible man, who loved me for me and not for my body. Lloyd, right or wrong, nobody said life was going to be as simple as ABC. Life is a complicity and we find ourselves in some situations that we can't even handle. I don't want your money. I want you, Lloyd. Why don't you want the money? Oh, I see my guy Nick has uh, put the fear of God in you. That's nice. She did a job. Very no. good job. No! You think I'm scared of Neka? I'm not. See, Lloyd, I'm a street girl too. If it's muscle for muscle, I can muster my own people too. And we clash in the clash of the titans. Oh. You won't win me, or what bleed. But I don't want that. Listen, I know she's your sister-in-law, okay? And I know that you guys have been friends since secondary school till university days. I'm not scared of her. I can set her up to if I wish. Listen, Lloyd, like the song of my favorite musician, Stevie Wonder, I just come to say that I love you. I love you, Lloyd. Lloyd, listen, please. Don't leave me. Stay in my life. If you want to break my heart, break it slowly. I may die if you do it too sudden. Lloyd, please. I love you so much. Stay in my life, please, Lloyd. See, I did not love you in a day. Lloyd, please don't leave me one day, please, oh, listen, Lloyd. Listen, Bella, there's no easy way to break somebody's heart. Okay, if you don't want us to be lovers, we can be friends. No, it will never work. Don't you get it? We need space. 
I don't need you in my life. You don't need me in your life. Listen, people get sick and die. There's no warning. So the Lord you knew before is dead. Okay? My wife, my wife is sick and she needs me. Please. But I need you in my life, Lord. Lord, tell me. Do you love her? Yes. And it took me a perfect understanding of her situation to find out that I never stopped loving her. Bye, Lloyd. Still believe in God. God can still do miracle. It's been five days. Five days since I heard any word from my wife. What do I keep telling Elizabeth? I'm running out of lies. <sighs> I know what they say. That you never miss your well until you run out of water. <sighs> oh my Christy, is there is there anything I can do? Any higher power I can consult, any spiritual, anything I can just bring my Cynthia back to me. Is there, is there anything I can do? Please. Oh my God, stop my mommy! It's not entirely your fault. I also contributed to everything that we've been through. You know, they used to say, no matter what we're going through, even if we're fighting our personal demons, we should try and open up to the ones that we love. I failed you in that part. I buried this pain inside for so long. I didn't know that it was affecting you too. For five years, five good years you endured. You are patient. You are a good husband until you, until I pushed you. It took you five years to break. All that glitters is not gold. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Daddy, mommy. I hope you both have learned your lesson. Me, I've learned my for the future purpose. I'm sorry. <sighs> 